Divi 5 fixes Divi's biggest issues and it does it with one simple yet massive under the hood change. Divi launched in 2013 and quickly became the most popular WordPress page builder, but over time its foundation became outdated, causing slow performance and frustrating limitations. After personally using Divi daily for over a decade and building tools used by hundreds of thousands of Divi users, I can confidently say Divi 5 is a true game changer for WordPress. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why and I'm gonna show you hands-on examples of what's new, what's better, and what makes Divi 5 different from every builder out there. To start, let's look at that one hidden change that solves all of Divi's old problems once and for all. When Divi was first released back in December 2013, it was built on a shortcode based framework. In WordPress, shortcodes are small placeholders that tell WordPress to load and display something dynamic like a form wherever the shortcode is placed. Divi used shortcodes as its entire foundation though. Whenever you built a layout with the Divi Builder, it was stored as a series of short codes behind the scenes. Then on the front end, WordPress would parse those short codes and render your layout. That system worked for a while, but over time it led to bloated code, slower performance, and a frustrating editing experience. And if you ever switched WordPress themes, you'd be left with a mess of unreadable shortcodes that were nearly impossible to clean up. Divi 5 changes everything. It's been completely rebuilt from the ground up without shortcodes. Now Divi uses a modern lightweight framework that's fast, clean, and scalable. But don't worry, shortcodes from other plugins will still work just fine. They're just no longer the foundation of Divi itself. And that's a big reason why Divi 5 is now the fastest page builder in the world. Speaking of speed, next, I'm gonna show you the brand new Divi 5 interface and why it feels so refreshingly crisp and buttery smooth. But before we talk about the interface, if you want my new training class on Divi 5, click the link below this video. It's gonna teach you how to get started with Divi 5. And it's made for everyone, whether you're brand new to Divi or you've been using Divi for years. All right, on to the new Divi 5 interface. When you first start using the interface, you'll immediately notice how incredibly fast it is. If you've been using the previous version of Divi or even other page builders, you may not have even realized that they were slow until you start playing around with Divi 5. Divi 5's interface is insanely customizable and fluid. You can dock the panels where you want them and there's even multi-panel docking and tabbed panels. Plus, Divi 5 now has one-click editing. You no longer have to hover over the element you want to edit and click on the settings icon like in Divi 4. Now you simply click on the section row or module you want to edit and you'll immediately have access to it. Divi has now made responsive editing extremely intuitive and quick. Choose the breakpoint you want to make edits to and start customizing. All changes made will only apply to that responsive breakpoint which is a huge, massive leap forward from the previous responsive editing experience in Divi 4. Now, this just scratches the surface of the new changes in the Divi 5 interface. All these improvements make using Divi 5 a surprisingly modern, intuitive experience, and it's one of the reasons I believe it's now the best page builder for WordPress. Next, I'm gonna show you some of the exciting new Divi 5 features that contribute to Divi 5 leapfrogging the competition and becoming the best page builder for WordPress. The team at Elegant Themes has been pumping out features for Divi 5. Most notably, Divi 5 introduces two design systems that make it stand out from every other builder on the market, presets and design variables. Presets are like CSS classes, but fully visual. You can create reusable styles for things like text, spacing, backgrounds, and then apply them anywhere on your website. When you update a preset, everything using it updates instantly, and you can even stack them too. No other builders offer this kind of reusable, scalable design system in such an intuitive interface. Design variables in Divi 5 are like having a command center for your entire website's design. 
You define things like fonts, colors, spacing, or even text and images once, then you plug in those variables into your layout. When you make a change in the command center, it instantly updates across your entire site. No hunting through dozens of modules to try to make those changes. It's a total game changer for staying consistent and making global updates in seconds. When used together, presets and design variables transform how you build websites with Divi, making your workflow faster, leaner, and way more scalable. Divi 5 also includes new customizable responsive breakpoints, advanced units, including CSS functions and variables, nested rows, and the highly requested CSS Flexbox layout support is on the way too. Remember, you can get my free Divi 5 getting started training for free by clicking the link down in the description below. I go through in detail the new interface and features and help you get started using Divi 5, whether you're brand new to Divi or you've been using Divi for years. Now, let's talk about when you can start using Divi 5. So is Divi 5 released? Yes and no, but mainly yes. Let me explain. Most major software releases have a hard release date and all users essentially start using the new version at the same time and the old version stops being updated. But Divi 5 is working a bit different. I like to think about it like two trains. With most software, you exit the old train and then you board the new one. The old train stops moving. But with Divi, you have two trains that are running parallel to each other. At any time, you can hop on over to the newer, sleeker, faster Divi 5 train and keep moving forward. It may not have every feature you're used to yet, like WooCommerce modules, for example, but it already has a ton of really powerful new features like I've told you about in this video. So you can wait until it has everything you need and come on over when you're ready. And once everyone has come aboard the Divi 5 train, the Divi 4 train will stop and Divi 5 will be officially released and the only train moving forward. Cheesy analogy, but it works. Divi 5 is stable and working great, but if the third-party plugins you're using aren't compatible yet, or you're just not ready to make a change, then that's fine too. And if you are new to Divi, then you can just climb aboard the Divi 5 train from the beginning and onward we go. If you wanna get more familiar with Divi 5, I highly, highly recommend grabbing my free Divi 5 training below. I made it for existing Divi users and new Divi users. I go through the interface, the new features, and help you get comfortable moving forward with Divi 5.